What's up, YouTube world? I want to talk to you guys tonight about a topic that keeps on coming up uh, when I deal with customers. Uh, some of the things I deal with are customer will uh, have their sprinkler system running when I uh, before I mow the day of when I'm gonna stop by their house and mow their yard, and uh, it's all soggy. It's uh, uh, maybe not too wet. But it's wet enough where after I run my uh, mower through the yard, it leaves some kind of um, unevenness. And uh, I do my best because I'm scheduled to be there. And uh, it's not going to uh, leave complete ruts in the uh, soil or sand. Since we have sand in Jacksonville, Florida, it's really sand. Um, so how, how do I handle this? A uh, number of ways, rescheduling, things like that. If it's too wet, obviously, I'm not going to have my uh, mower that might be anywhere from a couple hundred pounds to a uh, thousand pounds uh, on their yard. And obviously, I change the pattern uh, each time I go there and mow their yard. Uh, mow it one way, then do an angle, and, you know, the next uh, after a couple cuts. So it's not always the same. Uh, you're trying to get the grass blades to stand up taller, things like that, a clear cut, a uh, more even pattern. So I uh, really think about what I do as I do it, and before and after and so on. I'm going to do a walkthrough, I'm going to pick up sticks, I'm going to um, see what uh, trash is in the yard that blew, blew into the yard a lot of times, especially the front yard, a lot of yards in uh, Florida. Uh, have uh, privacy fences, so in the backyard, it's all, it's everything's all fenced up, you know, in the backyard. Unless you're uh, dealing with inner city or some parts of the city, they they have uh, fence in the front yard as well in the, as in the backyard. Uh, typically, it's a chain chain link fence. Um, I uh, I'm trying to put a list together so I can help my customers to deal with the uh, running their sprinkler system the same day. I would encourage them not to so I can go out there, mow the yard, make sure everything looks proper and, and so on. Um, sometimes they even run the sprinkler system when it's rained the previous night. Uh, not thinking about it. Um, some of them have uh, little measure sticks uh, in the front or side yard. Uh, to have an idea how much rain has fallen so the sprinkler system does not um, run, I guess. Um, so, uh, with all that said, uh, topic number two I want to talk about is how do you deal with customers that leave their dog droppings, dog waste in the yard and they don't pick it up? They, they, it's not that they're being inconsiderate, it's just, it is. And uh, so what I typically do is uh, use a mower that's kind of a mulching mower so it doesn't blow up in my face or out the side of the discharge chute and uh, try to keep it enclosed, um, wipe my equipment off, um, keep everything clean from my side of stuff. And I try to work with uh, my uh, um, online services or lead generation services to uh, encourage customers to pick up the dog droppings. So those are two issues that I'm dealing with currently and that's how I deal with it and I try to make the best of it by educating the customer and educating myself the best I can from my side. And if you like the topic Please like and subscribe, spread the word, and if you feel this is of any value, please uh, donate to the PayPal link down below. And as always, thanks for listening. Bye-bye.